welcome all the students today we'll discuss about module 6th for the program of first year base agriculture honors for the subject agricultural engineering for second semester the course code is engineering 1 to 1 and course title is soil and water conservation engineering the name of the module is agronomical and erosion engineering erosion control measures terracing i am mr vinod atkari assistant professor don bosco college of agriculture sulkorna kp goa the outline of the this module is we will discuss about different engineering erosion control measures and in that we will discuss it for terracing in details and its types. The at the end of this module students will be able to learn about different erosion control measures and terracing its types its design. Engineering or mechanical erosion control measures as we uh, discuss in module fifth about uh, agronomical erosion control measures. In this module, we will discuss about engineering erosion control measure. Engineering erosion control measures are the second line of defense. First line of defense are the agronomical erosion control measures. As this adoption of agronomical measures alone are not sufficient to control the erosion at desired level. So, we have to go for definitely go for engineering erosion control measures. These measures check erosion and conserve water for crop growth. There are different types of engineering erosion control measures like terracing, bunding and grass to waterways. The terracing has two types broad based terraces and bench terraces and bunding has also two types graded burns and contour burns. We will discuss all these measures in details. Engineering or mechanical erosion control measures first is terracing as we know the terrace is an embankment or ridge of earth constructed across a slope to control the runoff and to minimize the soil erosion. A terrace reduces the length of that hill or the slope thereby reducing the two types of erosion sheet and real erosion. Here we are controlling only two types of erosion sheet and real erosion and also prevent formation of the gullies. Soil loss by erosion as we know the soil loss by erosion is proportional to the uh, length of slope to the power of 0.5 means soil loss is directly proportional to the square root of length of slope. So, the doubling the length by this formula, doubling the length uh, increases the erosion by 1.5 time, 1.4 times. By shortening the length of slope, the terraces contributes greatly to the uh, reducing the soil loss, means soil erosion. So, as uh, shown in this diagram, these are the terraces. So, we are uh, reducing the length of slope by cutting this land and making the terraces. So, objectives of terracing, what are the objectives? So, based on the land use, to facilitate, facilitate farming on very steep slopes, it is possible. Soil conservation, to check soil erosion and to maintain the fertility status of the soil or nutrient conservation we can call. Next is the water conservation, decreases runoff and increase infiltration rate of the water. Next is the functions, there are different functions. First, to reduce the soil erosion by shortening the length of slope or by conducting the runoff water on a non-erosive grade to a stable slope. Next is the to conserve the moisture by increasing the infiltration opportunity time. Next, to facilitate cultivation and tillage operation on sloping land. There are few limitations with this terracing. First, can be used in all soils except too stony or sand or shallow or too, uh, to permit practical and economical construction and maintenance. Means stony area is not feasible where the st more stones are there we can't go for terracing. Next not advisable where the slope of land is either too low or too high. So we required some moderate slope for this type of practice. Topography is extremely irregular it is uneconomical to go for this type of practice. The soil depth is not sufficient then also it is not advisable to go for terracing because the earth moving and all that operation will be uh, costlier. Next is the terracing terrace classification terrace as we discussed in uh, previous slide terrace has two types broad base and bench terraces. So again this broad base and bench terraces are divided into different types broad base terraces has two types graded and level terraces graded terrace also two types with proper channel and without proper channel. The bench terraces are 
classified into four types leveled or it is also called as table top terrace next is the sloping inward sloping outward and virtual recon terraces so this is the detailed classification of the terraces basically uh, uh, in india uh, the terraces are classified into two major groups broad based terraces and bench terraces broad based terraces are adopted where the main purpose is either to remove or to retain water on sloping land that are suitable for cultivation and the bench terraces are mainly adopted to reduce the land slopes the we will see here the bench terraces in details with their classification and their design based on slope bench terraces are classified into three types here so first is the level or table top terrace second outward outward sloping terrace and inward sloping terrace first level or table top terrace the uh, this terraces is shown here in this diagram this is the hill so we are cutting this slope and making this level table top land and we are cultivating crops on this uh, flat land so these are constructed ex exactly on the contours and provided with sufficient free board so that they can trap all the rain that falls there are suitable these uh, terraces are suitable for areas where evenly distributed medium rainfall and having deep and highly permeable soil in that case only as we are in goa and these coastal regions we are not going for this because here the rainfall is more and our soil is also not very deep next is the outward sloping terraces so here the slope is just like a outward towards this shoulder burns as shown in this diagram the bench terraces sloping outwards are effective only in low rainfall areas means arid regions where the rainfall is very less at lower ends uh, graded channels are provided for safe disposal of runoff and the shoulder burns here this small small burn is given uh, it is essential to protect this slope useful for slopes up to 15% and uh, we can cultivate the orchards there third type is the inward sloping terraces bench terraces of sloping inward type are more effective in heavy rain rainfall areas like coastal regions because here the rainfall is more this burn will break if you make here table top or uh, sloping outward so inward sloping is required to protect it from uh, break so the components of bench terraces there are different components so this is a shoulder burnt uh, we are cutting the soil and filling here so this is called as cut and this is called as fill this is the total width is called as terrace bench so these are the references thank you